CataractCoach.com. How to sit temporal, but still operating using with the rule incisions. So this is a patient where we're sitting temporally at about the 180 or zero degree mark. But this patient has with the rule astigmatism. And the patient has a steep axis that's over here, just about at 75 degrees or so. So we'll make our incision there. Now look carefully. We've tilted and adjusted our microscope so that we can scoot over and sit a little bit closer to that 75 degree axis. So we've just moved the microscope, adjusted the patient's head position in order to make our incision on that steep axis, 75 degrees, inferiorly. So now we'll spin the speculum around a little bit. There's the forceps. We're going to start doing our rexus. The case will proceed normally. And in this case, we're going to do paired incisions, an incision there at 75 degrees inferiorly. And then at the end of the case, when the eye well is in the capture bag, we'll make a second incision at 75 degrees superiorly. And these two paired incisions in this case will cause about 0.75 to 1 diopter of flattening at that meridian. This is a very simple and easy way of fixing the patient's pre-existing corneal astigmatism. So here's the end of the case. It went routinely. Everything went great. We'll put the eye on the capsule bag and look where our incision is. So we're very much inferiorly. So we're at about the seven o'clock position of the eye for that inferior incision. Yes, my hands are touching the patient's face through our drapes. We have sterile drapes over the whole face and that is happening. So I tell the patient, don't worry if you feel me touching your cheek or your face. That's all completely normal. And we'll get the lens into good position. Now, could I have sat superiorly as well? For sure, you can sit superiorly and you can make your incision at this 75 degree meridian as well. But here I wanted to show you that if you do prefer sitting temporally, that the patient may have a very prominent brow or deep set eyes and it's easier to access the eye temporally, you can still make your incision here at a with the rule type of orientation, which is at or close to the 90 degree mark. And in our case here, we're at about 75 degrees. So the lens in the capsule bag, everything's cleaned up just nicely. And again, we can do either a paired incision here, or we can do a limbal relaxed incision. Either way, we wanna have flattening at this specific meridian. So cleaning up everything looks great here. Now, if we made the incision temporally, in other words, against the rule, but the patient already has with the rule astigmatism, then our incision would worsen the existing astigmatism. We don't want that. So here we're going to seal up the incision. And again, the option to pair with this is either to do another full thickness incision, which we could do for about a diopter flattening, or we can do a limbal relaxed incision. And in this case, here we go, we're actually doing a limbal relaxed incision. So putting the fixation ring down on the eye, this is a 550 micron blade, and we can make our nice limbal relax incision there and this patient will get about 0.75 maybe at the most one diopter flattening at that meridian and everything will go great so keep that in mind you can sit temporally and still adjust your microscope and scooch over i want to remind you to go to cataractcoach.com and sign up for our free daily email delivered to your inbox a very interesting case and video every single day thanks for watching